Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to my tutorial series on MySQL or actually rather MySQL because that is how it's pronounced. It's pronounced MySQL, not MySQL, but I'm one of those guys who tends to say MySQL or MySQL a lot, right? Uh, and that's just because uh, that's it was spelled that way. Don't blame me, <laughs> right? So uh, now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at uh, the next thing I want to talk about, which is what the heck is MySQL, right? And MySQL is a structured query language. That's what the SQL actually stands for. Uh, so because it's a structured query language, what that means is this is one of these languages that we use to talk to a database, right? So uh, before I go any further, let me kind of clarify what a database is. And a database, the simplest explanation I can really give to you is that a database is a collection of data, right? And uh, it is more specifically, it is a collection of data that you choose to collect. So if you want to collect information about a user, whether it be their first name, last name, email address, that kind of stuff, then uh, you can collect whatever it is you choose to collect, right? So uh, databases are typically made up of tables with this kind of information. So you might have a users table that collects information about a user. Um, you'll take their first name, last name, telephone number, whatever it is you wanna collect, right? It's up to you. Um, and uh, typically the more information that you are trying to collect, the more information or the more tables you'll have. So uh, different data goes into different tables. So for instance, you'll have a users table that'll have information or uh, data about a user. So that'll be their first name, their last name, their email address, the username, things like that that are specific to a user. But then you might also have uh, products that you sell on your website and those will all go into a table. So then you'll have the product name and that kind of stuff in a products table. And uh, yeah, if you have users and you have products, you're more than likely gonna be selling these products to the users or to the customers. So then you might have an orders table that keeps track of any orders going on on your website. And if you have orders going on, you're probably gonna deliver these things to people, which means uh, you need to keep track of addresses that you are delivering to, right? So uh, the yeah, basically the more information you wanna collect, the more tables you're probably gonna have in your uh, database. And uh, you know, having a lot of tables is not a bad thing. It's better to have a lot of tables and have uh, all the data separated nicely than to just keep throwing it all into one table. Uh, that would be very, very bad practice, right? So uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much what a database is. Um, and I try to make it as simple as possible, um, right? And uh, yeah, where the heck does MySQL come in with all of this? Well, MySQL or MySQL uh, allows you to add information to a table. It also allows you to add tables to a database. It also allows you to remove tables if you want to, like if uh, if you decide that you, you no longer need a table or you, a, a user deletes their profile or something like that. Uh, you might want to use code to then remove them from the database. Uh, it also allows you to modify databases. So uh, anytime a user wants to update their profile or anytime you update a product on the website, something like that, you will use MySQL or a MySQL uh, query to modify the database. Uh, when you are displaying products on a website, then you'll probably need to search the database for the specific product, that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, MySQL basically allows us to use code to do all of these things, add, remove, modify, search, and join tables. And uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. So now let's take a look at what you're gonna need to follow along with this tutorial series. And uh, the first thing you're going to need is you're gonna need to have MySQL on your computer somehow. Uh, there are a bunch of different ways to do this, but I think the best and the easiest way, especially if you have been watching my tutorials in the past, is to use MAMP. 
because I use map and I use map in a lot of my other tutorials. So uh, if you guys haven't got map installed, go ahead and watch another video over here where I will teach you guys how to install map. Uh, and I have videos to do that on both Windows and OS 10. So uh, pick a video that suits your operating system. Okay, and uh, once you have MAMP on your computer, you will now have uh, MySQL installed on your computer. Something else that I think is going to be really helpful is to have some experience with PHP. If you have absolutely no experience with PHP whatsoever, uh, you could probably still follow along with the series and understand everything and you, like, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be the end of the world if you don't have experience with PHP, let's just put it that way, but it is going to be extremely helpful. I think it's just going to give you a better understanding or uh, like a better idea of where you're going to be using MySQL and why it would be useful. Right, so hopefully you have MAMP installed on your computer and you do have a little bit of experience with PHP and that means that this next bit is going to be really, really easy. Uh, but what you wanna do right now is open up MAMP, start the servers, so make sure your servers have been started. Um, make sure that Apache server and MySQL server are both running, so it should have like some closed check boxes over there. Just means that those are both on. If neither of one of those is on, or if one of them is on and the other one is off or whatever, it's just not going to work, right? Uh, so, uh, now that we've got that out of the way, let's open up my web start page. Uh, so I clicked on that button, and that opens up my MAMP web start page. And from here, uh, what I'd like to do is go to something called PHP My Admin. So PHP My Admin is where we get to manage um, our SQL queries and things like that, right? So there are a few ways to go about doing this. You can, on this homepage, just scroll down a little bit and go to PHP My Admin. There's a link over there. Uh, if for some reason that link isn't showing. There is another link in the menu up here, so PHP My Admin. And in fact, I'd prefer using this link because it opens up PHP My Admin a full screen rather than this link over here, which opens it up kind of in a half screen. I don't like that. It's like in a container. I don't like it. Anyway, but uh, if either of those links isn't showing, then you can just type in uh, localhost colon 8888 or whatever your port number is. In my case, the port number happens to be 8888. And then type in PHP my admin and uh, that'll take you to PHP my admin as well. So there's a bunch of different ways to go about getting there. Um, I just wanted to show you all of them. And uh, now that you are here, what I'd really like to do is import a SQL uh, database. So, um, what you guys need to do is go over to my Patreon page. I will leave the link in the video description below and also a link up here in the top corner. Click on one of those. So once you've clicked on that link, that is gonna open up this page over here, which is a, p a post on my Patreon page. And uh, from here, you can then go ahead and download learning over here.sql. So this is a, uh, a SQL file that I've created for you guys that has a bunch of uh, databases and some dummy info. Uh, so if you guys wanna follow along with this tutorial, uh, this is going to be a really helpful um, SQL file uh, just for querying and learning how to use SQL. So go ahead and click on that to download it. I already have it on my computer, seeing as I'm the person who created it. So here it is on my desktop. And what I'd like to do now is go back over to PHP My Admin. So you guys need to do this as well. And uh, right now you can see that I've only got uh, these databases on my, uh, uh, well, computer. So uh, what I'd like to do now is import another one. So let's click import and I'm gonna browse my computer for the file. So click on that and uh, that opens up this little finder browser thingy. And this is the only file on my desktop. So that's the one I want to import. Uh, learning over here .sql. So let's click open. And uh, now that I've opened that, um, the character set file should be UTF-8. Uh, the rest of these settings should actually be all default. So you shouldn't have to worry about changing the rest of the stuff. Uh, you can just leave them as they are and click go. And that is then going to uh, give us a little uh, confirmation thing over here. So uh, import has been successfully finished, 31 queries executed. So now I know that the database has been imported and I can see that as well because now learning over here is a database. 
right on my computer. So let's click on that. And as uh, you guys can see, there are a bunch of tables within this database. So an addresses table, orders table, products and uh, users. Right, so just before we end off this video, I want to send a shout out to my sponsors on Patreon. So I'm gonna throw some names up here. These guys contribute $5 or more every month on Patreon, which goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. And if you guys do wanna see more of this content uh, and you do like what I've created, uh, then yeah, consider making a pledge on Patreon. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one.